Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this, this episode, we're going to be looking at cleaning um, a nozzle that's been plugged with PLA. So, one of the big challenges with this is uh, you probably saw in the prior video if you've been following along. So I had a problem with this getting clogged in one of the prints I was doing in the in the fan uh, housing or the, the fan cover. And so one of the things is this thing was just totally encased in, in PLA. It was a mess. And so I, I went looking on the internet for something that would dissolve PLA. Well, guess what? It's pretty hard to find. So I, I tried alcohol. That didn't work at all. Um, even a pretty stiff version of it. And so what I did use, end up using, was goof off. And so I did put take some of this, put it into a glass jar, and let let it soak overnight. And, and I don't know if you can see here, but there's some remnants of PLA. Now, it did not dissolve the PLA. Uh, this stuff is sort of like lighter fluid, so be very careful. It is flammable, I believe. It's not a good stuff. It stinks, and there's all kinds of warnings on the back. Um, using a well-ventilated area. However, what it did is did break up the, the PLA. So what you can see in the bottom here is all the PLA that was around the threads and just gumming this thing up. Uh, so, so that did work somewhat, <clears throat> but the, the, the problem was is I still had a lot of material inside. And so what I used, and you have to be careful about this because this is machined to some fairly strict tolerances, but what I did is I used some of these small drills to reach in there and pull the plastic out. What I also did was I used the the heat gun here from my soldering station uh, to heat the tip up with the drill in there, and you have to be very careful. And then used a pair of pliers in, to push the the plastic out that was jammed in there because. That's why I wanted to get something to dissolve it, to, to get the plastic out and the PLA out, because I couldn't. I mean, it was all gummy, and it just would not come out. So, so that worked pretty good. <clears throat> and then what I've gotten are these, these drills, and I'll put the link below from Amazon. Now, these are 0.4 millimeter drills, and you can see. Now, what I was using is I have these from my CNC for machining... Um, a PC boards in, in the in the, the pieces is it it pops in there now. One of the things, unfortunately, I have to do is change glasses because when you get over 50, one of the problems is you can't see something that small. So um, typically, I use 0.5 cheaters for general reading, but for something like this, I jump to three and it works pretty good. So those over 50 uh, might be a pointer. So what you can do is is put this in there, but now. Um, you have one of the things you want to be very careful of. You don't want to be going like this and distort the contour of the the uh, the hot end, the nozzle piece there. Um, it being perfectly round is very important. But the problem is, is this was very short and I couldn't get all the way through. So one of the things that you'll notice about these these drills um, is it's quite a bit longer, and, and you can kind of see here it'll push through up into the end. And so what you can do is use this piece and um, if I stick it in there, because I got the other one in there. And again, you can just kind of spin it around and, and get it moving in there. Again, be careful you don't damage the uh, opening. And then as you see, it's working its way in. And then opening it up. So, so now that I've got this opened up, I want to do this once again. Maybe show you. So, so it's sticking out the other end. You can feel it here at the other end. Um, so again, what I've also done is pushed the rest of that that plastic out and cleaned it out. You can kind of see here on this how what a mess this is. Um, I try to clean that up. The other thing that that I do use is. Um, is, is a brass brush to to help break up the PLA on, on the top and also clean the PLA out of the uh, uh, threads too for reassembly. Uh, don't take this to a grinder or anything like that, you know, with a wire brush because you'll, you'll destroy this. Uh, so again, that's why using a brass brush on it and, and that kind of stuff to get it all cle cleared out. Um, 
And again, the heat gun was, was pretty good too. It helped me push <coughs> excuse me, the plastic out. So, um, again, now put the links to these. These, these, uh, they came, they came, what, five to a pack, and I think they were like 11 bucks. Um, basically, it's a micro bit set in this, this aluminum handle. You can kind of see it's kind of glued. They do have a little bit of a life because this one that I've used, it is so, so thin that it has plugged the, uh, the, uh, uh, flutes on the drill with with the plastic because one of the things is while it was hot I still I pressed it in there before to make sure that everything was was clear and then that um, again kind of cleaning this out and it, also like I say be careful you don't distort any of the openings either in the top end or the bottom so all the drills I've been using have been smaller uh, what I'm going to do is try to heat this up with that again and clean it off with a a more firm wire brush, if you will, because this drill doesn't, you know, if it gets a little bit form, doesn't matter. But again, be very careful with the hot end. So hopefully this, this showed you a little bit of cleaning the hot end. I haven't seen really anything that good on the internet. Also, if you got something that dissolves PLA, let me know down below. Um, I, I ran into a couple things on the internet, a, acrylic welding compound that will dissolve PLA, but it's pretty caustic and, and, and not very nice stuff. And not that, you know, like acetone is nice stuff, but this stuff is even worse. So, uh, anyways, if you have, um, if you've come up with a way of dissolving PLA a little bit better, let me know. But so far, um, I've everything I've tried goof off seems to be the best and at least loosening it up and causing it to break away. It does not dissolve it, but it does break it away. So I'd like to hear about it in the comments. And again, I'll put links below for this. And again, use, utilizing a small drill like, like this to kind of clear out this back end. Because you can kind of see down here, all this stuff, all this black stuff has come out of this head. I mean, this thing was just so impacted, it wasn't funny. And, and the piece is, is um, you know, when you're pushing it through, it, it, it does kind of like build up in there, especially uh, if you don't have your retraction right. And this is the one thing I found with the all-metal hot end, having your retraction set right is critical. Uh, I've lowered, uh, and, and I sort of discovered a little bit of this on my own and a little bit of this comments on the channel, is I've reduced my retraction to one millimeter. So I do one millimeter, and I think it's set to either 40 or 50 millimeters a second. So it's it's rather quick movement um, to move the filament back out of the way. And that seems to be working better with this all-metal hot end. So changing this all-metal hot end has been a little bit different to than I had expected it would be. So I've had to make a number of changes. So uh, change number one is for PLA, I've had to jump up a good 10 degrees in printing the PLA. Number two, I've had to change the retraction setting uh, in it. Because remember, and I think I'll do a video on this, the dark arts of retraction with the PTFE tube. When it retracts, because the PTFE tube actually sits down into the hot end, into this nozzle, when you retract it back up, it's going to to a cool area, in a, in a cool, non-sticky area, if you will, where the piece here is with this, um, it's going back up into maybe a cooler area, but it's still a metal area. And if you constantly have this retraction action going up and down, you know, in and out of it, you're going to have some problems. And so you want to minimize the distance because that distance is, is just creating more and more kind of like backlash and residual buildup in here um, than, than, than you would normally have with the PTFE tube. So be aware of that. So you have to run hotter for than the filaments that you did before. And then I think you also have to change your retraction settings, both speed and distance, to make it a shorter throw, yet a faster throw. And... Um, Outside of that, I think it works pretty good. You know, I have to be honest too. It, looking at the hot, the the full metal hot end, if I was just printing PLA, I probably would not make the change. I made the change for PET G. Works great for PET G. Um, I don't think it works as good for PLA. It does work. I think it's okay, but um, I would not make the change. I I, I can't suggest I, that I'd probably make the change if I was just doing PLA. So. Anyways, hey, if you found this video handy, give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs up. I'll gladly buy you on a hamburger on Tuesday if you pay me on Thursday or something like that. And subscribe to the channel. A lot more of this stuff coming out. 
any questions, as always, hit me up below. I'm happy to answer those questions. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.